In this tutorial we will discuss cyclic voltimetry CV. Let's discuss with introduction. Cyclic voltimetry CV is one of the most versatile electroanalytical techniques for the study of electroactive species. It is used principally to determine formal redox potentials, detection of chemical reactions that produce the electrochemical reaction and evaluation of electron transfer kinetics. The effectiveness of CV results from its compatibility for rapidly observing redox behavior over a wide potential range. Cyclic voltimetry consists of applying a triangular potential excitation signal, which cycles the potential of an electrode in between two limits and measured the resulting current. Basic Principle of Cyclic Voltimetry CV Actually the cyclic voltimetry CV is the logical extension of linear sweep voltimetry. It consists of applying a triangular potential excitation signal which cycles the potential of an electrode in between two limits which is immersed in an unstirred solution and measure the resulting current that is both forward and reverse reactions are monitored and complete current potential characteristic of a redox system are supplied. Rapid Scan Sinusoidal and pulse polarography superimpose various waveforms on the main voltage but the main voltage scan has been in one direction. In a CV a fast or very fast scan is carried out in two directions. Normally this process is conducted using electrodes with a small surface area in unstirred solution. Since the scan is in two directions, two curves are normally seen, a normal cathodic or reduction wave and an anodic or oxidation wave as the voltage reverse. A schematic diagram of a cyclic voltammogram highlighting the peak cathodic potential EPC, peak anodic potential EPA, cathodic current IPC, and anodic current IPA is shown here in cyclic voltammogram. And from this cyclic voltammogram we can get a lot of information regarding cyclic voltimetry CV. The curves shown in the figure are equal in magnitude and approximately aligned. This indicates that the electrode process is essentially a fast reversible reaction. The peak to peak separation delta E is in fact directly related to number of electrons transferred in reversible reaction. Delta EP is equal to EP anodic minus EP cathodic is equal to 0.059 by N. When the potential scan rate nu is increased both IPA and IPC are increased in proportional to root under nu. And the plot of IPA or IPC versus root under nu is a linear for reversible system. And the ratio of IPA by IPC remains unity and independent of the scan rate for a reversible couple with no kinetic complications. The ratio is influenced by coupled chemical reaction and such behavioral studies make CV a very powerful tool for studying electrode reaction and their mechanism. In CV, reduction occurs during the negative scan and reduced product is oxidized back during positive scan. During this process, potential changes gradually and the resulting current is plotted during positive and negative scan and from equation, delta E is equal to 0.059 by N, the number of electrons N involved during redox system can be calculated which is basic principle of cyclic voltimetry CV. Advantages of cyclic voltimetry CV the greatest utility of CV is its ability to generate a species during a potential scan and then study its fate in subsequent scan. CV is useful in diagnosing the mechanism of electrode reaction. And it also enables one to detect unstable intermediates of electrode reaction. CV essentially provides qualitative information on reaction speed and reaction mechanism. For quantitative measurement one of the pulse techniques will normally give more reliable data, etc. Limitations of cyclic voltimetry CV The electronic equipment used for producing the rapidly charging waveform and for recording the resulting time current wave must be capable for responding fast enough to display the correct waveforms. So, the magnitude of the wave produced depends only partially on the concentration of redox species involved and particularly other factors such as scan rate. The faster the scan, the larger is wave for a given solution. Applications of Cyclic Voltimetry CV The cyclic voltimetry is rarely used for quantitative determinations, but it is widely used for the study of redox processes for understanding reaction intermediates, and for obtaining stability of reaction. It is used to control the rate of reactions. And it is also used to determine mechanisms and kinetics of redox reactions, etc.